Tested. Hey guys, Will from Tested. Norm from Tested. Uh, I feel like we've been here before, but it is time for Android Apps of the Week. Let's go check out the apps. Let's do it right now. So, uh, you know, one of the problems with Minecraft is there's there are no problems with Minecraft. You are wrong. There's, there's not much documentation. Oh, okay. Well, there's also, a there's no clocks. You never know what time it is. What Minecraft Canary does is lets Ooh. you set day or night. So when you first log into Minecraft, the first time you see the sunset or the moon rise or the sunrise, click it. You clack, tap the appropriate button. Clack it. And then it will say, "Oh, hey, wait! You have eight minutes to sunrise." And then you know, in, in eight minutes, it'll make a buzzing noise. So if you're nice. playing, you know, you know how much time you have to get, you know, back to safety, basically. Um, That's very useful. Uh, let's see if I can exit that. It also, this is called Minecraft Canary. It's a, I think it's free. I can't remember for sure. It might be a buck without ads. Uh, it also has a bunch of other stuff like weapon recipes. So it tells you like it can puts all the stuff in an easy to find format. So instead of you printing know, out a 500 of, page document, yeah, you can just you can scroll through here. Just, and I assume yeah. it's updated when new items are added. It's updated fairly regularly. I think I've gotten a couple updates for it already. Um, there's also if you're an admin on your server and you want to cheat, then you can get block IDs and all that kind of stuff to see all the stuff you can make. You know, using the cheat codes. Uh, yeah, that goes on and on. This is like on. Game Genie for Minecraft. It kind of is actually. And then there's also some like just kind of explanatory text here that's actually pretty good. It explains stuff that I didn't know about. So Pulse is a newsreader app that originally appeared on iPhone. And iPad. And iPad. And this is the Android this version. This is the Android version. And it seems like it's pretty good. I, I downloaded it, used it a little bit. It is uh, not a recommended app of the week. So don't spend money on it. It is super duper slow. Oh, it's not free. It's not free. Or maybe it's maybe it's inexpensive. I can't remember. We'll put up the price on the little bottom third. Um, but basically, I was expecting kind of iPhone, iPad-like performance. Well, on the iPad, Pulse turns the iPad into like a digital magazine based on RSS feeds. Yes, and you get kind of that same thing here. You can hook it up into Google um, Google Reader, just like other stuff. I can't exactly figure out how to um, access that the Google Reader add-on. Like all of these things are in here. I've added them. I'm gonna add them again. It keeps going away. It, it's just it's just slow and not like the thing that I liked from um, Who iPhone. Earns? Yeah. So hopefully they'll fix the performance. Some. Um, this is all my Google feed re reader Google reader feeds. That's hard to say. Um, the takeaway. Not awesome. Do you speak any foreign languages, Norm? Uh, I speak awesome. Okay. So I don't also think awesome is awesome. one of our choices here, but uh, Pig awesome. we can convert English to other languages. It's a Babelfish. It is, it is the Babelfish, or the Universal Translator, depending on which fiction you want to believe in. Whatever's swimming in my um, ear. I'm going to pick a language here. Finnish. Finnish. Who doesn't love a good thing? We should have just picked the Danes in, in honor of Denmark. And the neat thing is, since it's Google, you can talk. So I'd like to say hello to people in Finnish. That's the you can talk over there. That's not like to say hello to people. You can talk. So I'd like a ho to people in Tennish. <laughs> that seems close enough. And now you can speak that. Oh yeah. The New and awesome ways to offend people. Universal all over the world. translator. Um, I would like to buy. Oh, actually, hold on. Let's do it. The, let's do it the real way. Yes, I would like to buy a garden hoe. Yes, I would like to buy a garden hoe. Very good. Let's translate that. What would you like to translate, Mr. Chen? Um, Something offensive, hopefully. Oh, well. Uh, the... Something offensive, hopefully. <laughs> let's change languages. Yeah, how about uh, Japanese? Japanese is hard, I've always been told. But if the machine can speak Japanese for me, I don't ever need to learn other languages. And it shows you the text. Yes. I'm sorry, I'm an, Amer I'm an ignorant American and do not know how to speak your language. I'm a great American and do not know how to speak your language. <laughs> you don't know how to speak English either. Oh, I don't think it. I don't think it'll do English. I don't think it'll speak Japanese. There is no robot Japanese voice. No robot Japanese that voice. That is not ironic, but it is what some other people would call ironic if they did not know what the definition of ironic. You was. mean like Alanis Morissette, maybe? Possibly. Possibly. Okay, so Pulse, kind of a letdown. I really like the iPhone version. Stinks on Android. Minecraft app. Minecraft Canary. Minecraft good. Canary is I think rad. I'll be keeping that with me if I had an Android phone. If you had an Android phone, you could try that out. There's no equivalent on iPhone, so suck it, iOS users. Ha <laughs> ha.
Um, and then the other thing, the translate thing, that was an interesting novelty, I thought. I can now speak Finnish. If I ever go to another country, then I will know how to use and words that talk, they talk. speak that I don't. Bye. Bye.